Today, we're exploring the four key measures used to evaluate software delivery performance, deployment frequency, lead time to changes, mean time to restore, and change failure rate. Developed by Dora, these metrics quantify DevOps capabilities like continuous delivery, resilience, and productivity. Let's dive into how these metrics can transform your software delivery process. Dora metrics, introduced by the DevOps research and assessment team at Google, are a set of four key performance indicators for measuring and evaluating software delivery and operational performance. These metrics provide a quantitative framework for assessing the impact of DevOps practices and identifying areas for improvement in the software delivery lifecycle. Let's break down the four Dora metrics. Deployment frequency. This metric measures how often an organization successfully releases new software versions or updates to production environments. Higher deployment frequency indicates a more agile and responsive software delivery process enabling organizations to quickly deliver new features, bug fixes, and improvements to their customers. Lead time to changes. This quantifies the time it takes for a code change to go from the initial commit to being successfully deployed in a production environment. Shorter lead times signify a more efficient and streamlined software delivery pipeline, allowing organizations to respond rapidly to customer needs and market demands. Change failure rate. This metric measures the percentage of deployments that result in failures or require remediation action, such as rollbacks or hotfixes. A lower change failure rate indicates a more stable and reliable software delivery process, reducing the risk of downtime, data loss, or customer dissatisfaction. Mean time to restore. This measures the average time it takes for an organization to recover from a service disruption or unplanned outage. A shorter MTTR reflects an organization's ability to quickly identify, diagnose, and resolve issues, minimizing the impact of incidents on customers and business operations. By tracking and analyzing these DORA metrics, organizations can gain valuable insight into the effectiveness of their software delivery process and the impact of their DevOps practices. High-performing organizations typically exhibit higher deployment frequencies, shorter lead times for change, lower change failure rates, and faster mean times to recovery, indicating a more efficient, reliable, and responsive software delivery lifecycle. Why are Dora metrics important? Performance measurement. Dora metrics provide a standardized and objective way to assess the efficiency, reliability, and responsiveness of software delivery pipelines. By tracking these metrics, teams can identify strengths, weaknesses, and areas for optimization. Continuous improvement. Establishing baselines and setting targets for these metrics fosters a culture of continuous learning and improvement. Teams can align their efforts towards achieving tangible goals, driving better software delivery outcomes, benchmarking, and best practices. Dora metrics facilitate benchmarking and comparison across teams, departments, and industry peers. This transparency enables organizations to identify best practices, learn from high-performing teams, and implement strategies for better outcomes, business outcomes, and customer satisfaction. Higher deployment frequencies allow rapid delivery of new features and improvements, staying ahead of customer demands. Lower change failure rates and shorter MTTR directly translate to reduced downtime, improved reliability, and enhanced customer experiences, impacting revenue, brand reputation, and customer loyalty. Strategic imperative. In an era where software is central to business operations, the ability to deliver high-quality software rapidly and reliably is a strategic imperative. Dora metrics provide a framework to measure, optimize, and continuously improve software delivery capabilities, fostering innovation, agility, and a competitive edge. How do you utilize Dora metrics? Establish baselines. Start by establishing baselines for each of the four metrics, deployment frequency, lead time to changes, change failure rate, and mean time to recovery. These baselines provide a starting point for measuring progress and identifying areas for improvement. Implement data collection. Implement robust monitoring and data collection mechanisms across the software delivery pipeline. Integrate specialized tools and instrumentation to gather relevant metrics automatically. 
Analyze and Interpret. Analyze and interpret the Dora metrics to gain insights into software delivery performance. Visualize metrics through dashboards and reports to identify trends, outliers, and potential bottlenecks, facilitating data-driven decision-making. Foster Collaboration. Foster cross-functional collaboration and alignment across development, operations, and business teams. A shared understanding of how these metrics helps teams work together to identify root causes of performance issues and develop strategies to address them. Set targets. Establish specific targets for each DORA metric, aligned with business objectives and industry benchmarks. These targets guide continuous improvement efforts, motivating teams to implement changes and measure their impact. Contextualize metrics. Contextualize the metrics within the broader organizational context. For example, a high change failure rate may be acceptable for teams working on experimental features, while a low deployment frequency could be detrimental for a team delivering critical customer-facing applications. Continuous refinement. Embrace a data-driven mindset, foster collaboration, and continuously refine processes based on Dora metrics. This approach drives innovation, efficiency, and customer satisfaction in an evolving digital landscape. In conclusion, Dora metrics provide a comprehensive framework for measuring and optimizing software delivery performance. By leveraging these metrics, organizations can enhance their DevOps practices, improve efficiency, and deliver high quality software rapidly and reliably. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more insights on optimizing your software development practices.